Hey everybody, uh, it's Daniel again um, with a new review video. Um, this time not of a guitar. This is an older one. This is my PRS CE24, which I'm actually trying to sell. If you're interested, uh, let me know. Um, this, if you can't tell, um, the review is for uh, amp, a PRS amp, but uh, older version of that amp. So the amp I have is the PRS Sonzera 20. Let me see if I can get a good picture of it or footage of it. So it's kind of hard to have a picture uh, based. So I'm in the main house and um, this amp as the name suggests, is about 20, is 20 watts. So it's a little loud for my room. So it's back in the main house. Um, this, so long story short, this is, this amp was um, at my local store, Eldorado Hills Music, for probably about a year or two, probably, probably closer to two years. Um, actually, probably, yeah, probably closer to two plus years. Um, and I always loved the amp. Yeah, I'm going to turn the standby on real quick. Um, I always loved the amp. Um, I always used to test things, like when I bought pedals from them or if I bought guitars from my store. Uh, um, uh, that There was the amp that I always plugged everything into. Like, you know, sometimes I would just say, okay, let's do this. They're like, okay, just go, like, go turn it on. They knew which one I was going to go to. And, um, and I watched it, him, uh, the owner of Cameron to slowly drop the price, drop the price, drop the price, drop the price. So this year I kind of had it in mind that I was going to, I was going to finally just pull the trigger and buy the amp. It got down to about 800 bucks. Originally the price is about a thousand. In fact, the current model, if you look online, I think it's, I think it's a thousand. I think it's like ninety nine hundred ninety nine dollars and 99 cents or something. So thousand dollars. Um, I kind of talked with him and negotiated and got it down to about 750 So it ended up being about 800 with, with tax. Um, and uh, asked just the family for some money for Christmas. Um, I had a little extra money that came in, used that money. And I bought, and I did the one thing I almost never do, is I bought the amp. Typically, as you know, I'll either buy buy it myself a new guitar or buy myself a bunch of pedals um this time i just decided to go all in on the amp and i'm gonna say that this is the best amp i own um i have a couple little solid state amps here and there um but my main ones as you know are the little vox ac4 tv mini and the black star hr one or HT1R Mark II in the baby blue. So basically, small little bedroom volume uh, amps. I think the the Black Star is one watt. I think the Vox is like four. Well, this one's twenty. So um, it's kind of a little bit technical then for me to talk about. Um, I can kind of show you the control layout. So it's a two-channel amp. Um, yeah, it's a two-channel amp. Um, you've got so you've either got this little mini toggle which allows you to switch which amp, or you have the included uh, foot switch. Um, the does the channel switch, but also allows you to. Uh, put either reverb on or off. Um, let me turn the light on here, get a little bit better. There we go. So, here, let me take that so we have it. This is the drive channel here. So, on the drive channel, you've got bass, mid, treble, level, drive. Then you've got the second switch over here, which 
says gain bright. So I think it tightens up the gain, focuses it a little bit more. Um, you know, it's just kind of a little bit of tone sculpting. This side here is the, um, is the, uh, clean channel, which has presence, reverb, bass, treble, volume. It's not a very complicated amp. Um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to give uh, some tone samples of it just to kind of show what, um, kind of show what this thing can give you. Um, I've got my PRS CE24. Um, oh, here, let me turn the... Right now I'm on the clean channel. going to be in single coil i've got it in the middle position that was the neck humbucker position this is just the uh, middle single coil or coil tapped back to humbucker middle position still um hum both humbucker positions Now I'm going to turn on the drive channel. Yeah, come bucker. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. with the two single coils, coil tapped. Let me go a bridge, coil tapped. clean channel um so my view of it is now um my preference is always to have the amps generally clean um with and then have the pedal board have my pedals kind of either color the sound add gain chorus whatever um, so, but I'll, I'll say like, this is one of those rare amps that to me has, a has a usable, um, has a usable gain, uh, gain stage, a gain drive, um, a, or a drive channel. And, um, I just, I love it. It's, you know, this is something I would actually take with me to a gig. It's big enough, loud enough, like, like, I think I have the volume at, like, 0.5. I have it, like, at 6 o'clock or, or, like, 6.5 or something, like, but, I mean, like, or I would, or I would have it, like, 6 o'clock, if, if even that, like, it's almost off, and you can just hear how loud this sound is, 
you know. Even on clean, it's uh, yeah, it's just the most usable amp I have. It's like the Vox is a little overly dark. I found that, so I will say with this that the amp, it's on both channels, those tone presence, you know, bass, treble, they're very responsive. When I typically, the way I set my amps is um, to have everything, all the dials set at noon. So basically a neutral setting. And um, the fact that, and, and even then it was a little dark. Um, I, I kind of like that. Again, I'm a Vox guy, but it was a little bit of a darker sound. So I found that by ever so slightly just taking the treble and not moving anything else, just taking the treble and just notching it one or two, you know, spaces. It's a full, you know, there's not like a little notches in there, but you know what I'm saying. Just a little movie, moving it over a little bit from neutral from noon. And we're here, here. Um, gave it kind of a more neutral sound. Like it, that way it wasn't too dark. It wasn't too bright. Kind of opened the amp a bit. But if you're someone that that wants an amp like that that's really responsive, that's easy to tweak, you know, this is a perfect amp. Um, I have played the newer version. I do like. I don't know if you can hear it. So one of the biggest complaints has always been the hit. I don't know if you can pick it up. Is the hissing? There is this noise. It's intentional. I looked up on the forums. I looked up to old version you know old uh schematics and sarah and people a lot of people talking about it and paul made yeah like the hiss the low hiss noise that's intentional it's meant to copy vintage amps and so like it it you know if you hear yours having the sound like it's supposed to have the sound um i think the newer version changed something up and got rid of that I think they also did some tweaking of what kind of tubes are being used. But generally speaking, the Sonzera 20 is relatively the same kind of sound, the same kind of amp. Um, if you can go out and get the older one or even the new one, um, I would highly suggest it. Um, it's a really all good all-around amp, whether you want an amp that's got both the drive and the clean channel, or if you want a pedal platform. It's an amazing pedal platform amp. Um, you know, I told, uh, Cameron, the guy who owns Eldorado Hills Music, I, I said, the bigger, I'm like, I have a problem with this amp. I'm like, it's making me like all my guitars again. So again, like this one and a couple of my SEs I'm selling. Um, if you live in the Sacramento, Northern California region and this guitar looks interesting to you, the CE24, let me know. Um, again, I have, also have a couple... Uh, single cuts, one of which is on here, the Santana gold one. Anyway, I'm selling them. The problem is this amp makes them sound good, and it's making me reconsider selling my gu my guitars, even though I need the money and all that stuff. So that's the downside. It is it will make your guitars, even your not so good ones. It will make your pedals, even those pedals that you were kind of eh, on. It makes them just sound good, like on the top of my. Uh, um, on the top of this amp, I have the MXR Duke of Tone and the, um, Harvey Centauri Modified pedal on here. Um, reason being, like, th these actually sounded good on my pedal board, but running them just clean, um, through this amp with no other pedals, no wah, no chorus, no other pedals to compete with, just this pedal into the amp or just this pedal into the amp literally the best sound i've ever gotten um in the 20 years i played been playing collecting pedals and guitars and stuff and you know trying to find what sounds right in what part of the chain just one of those two pedals or any pedal through this amp and like this guitar or my one of my se's just like some of the best tones i've ever gotten so I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, I've been really busy. I have two uh, right now. I'm working two jobs, um, catch up on bills and stuff. But um, so yeah, I'm sorry that this has been a while coming. But um, 
but yeah uh so if you can get one of the newer ones or if one of your stores is like mine that's got it has one of these older ones that's been sitting there for two years three years ask your dealer see maybe they might knock a little bit off for you and take one of these guys home um i'd highly recommend it like i said like if i went if i was in the band if i was gigging this is definitely an amp i would be taking with me so um till i get the next piece of gear worth reviewing um have fun uh feel free to put any questions or any comments do you have a sonzera uh sonzera 20 watt either the older version or the newer version what do you think do you like them do you not like them um what pedals are you putting into it what guitars are you putting it how using as a pedal platform or using it how are you using it um just put some of the uh, put some comments down below and uh, let me know all right thank you